So Mark, what are code templates and what are we configuring about them here? Code templates are like Visual Studio code snippets on steroids. And the question that's being asked here is, do you want to have templates? And if so, do you want to expand them with the tab key or with the space bar? Uh, if you don't want to code templates, you can just click that button right there. But let me show you what templates do and give you a little preview into what, they, what you can do with them. And by the way, the animation shown on this page is essentially a real-time playback of a recording made writing code using the templates. So it's very, very fast. And they're very, you can see down here the keys that are pressed. There are very few keys that are pressed. In fact, most of the keys you, pressed, you press as you code are going to be the names of items that you're creating for the first time. And once you've created those, you can refer to those pieces you've created inside of your templates. So let me show you what templates do right now, and then you can uh, maybe help you make a better decision on this page. All right, so if I want to create a class, I just type in the letter C. Let me do that in slow motion here. I type in the letter C, and then I hit my template expansion key, either space or tab, whatever that's going to be. So there I've hit the key, and now I could give it a name, like item, for example. I'm going to create a shopping cart full of items. Now that I've got that, I can come in here and create some properties for it. So an auto-implemented property is just the letter A, followed by the type of the property. If I want it to be a string, I use the letter S. So type in AS like that, and I will uh, call this a name. This is the name of the product. And then I might come down here and give it a, a, a price. So I might say ADE for an auto-implemented decimal property. We'll call that price like that. And maybe I want to give it a GUID. So I'll type in AG like that, and this will be its ID, for example. Or I may want to create its weight, which would be a double. So I type in AD, D for double, and then type in the weight. So there's kind of a mnemonic language that's going on here in the background, a shortcut language, if you will, where we combine a command like the letter A for auto-implemented property with a type. And as you can imagine, in coding, there's a lot of things that we can assign types to, right? Properties have types like you've just seen, but we can also have methods return types. So if I want a method that returns a string, I just type in uh, like ms, and there's my method declaration that returns a string. And so it's very, very fast. I can cycle through visibility as well using Code Rush features. So it's very fast, fast, fast for writing code. I can even use pieces that I've already got. Like for example, this item, I can copy that to the clipboard. And now if I want to create a shopping cart, just type in there again, C with my template expansion key, call it shopping cart. And now I want to create a new list of what's on the clipboard. I can do that and we can call this items and very, very quickly get my declarations up, build the structure of my code using the code templates. So we'll have other videos out on how to use the templates to learn more about them. But the question that this page is asking is, do you want to expand with the tab key or the space bar? And my advice my advice in the to, in terms of answering this question is, if you're new to Code Rush, if you're maybe a little bit tentative about learning the templates, go ahead and use the tab key because it's a little bit safer to use. You're definitely not going to get any unintended expansions as you move forward and work. However, if you're coding speed, if you're a code jockey, if you write a lot of code all of the time every day, or alternatively, if you have to write code in front of people, such as, as in a presentation in front of your team or in front of a customer, you're prototyping. If you have to write code very, very quickly, choose the second option to enable the templates with the space bar and check out some of the other videos that we've got for learning templates. Another couple of issues maybe to consider is that if you're the sort of person who uses very, very short variable names like A, M, or, or some of those other things you were seeing as type, then of course you're likely to be typing those and hitting space to move away from your variable declaration. You should be picking tab if that's the case for you, okay? Right. If on the other hand you'd like to use rather long variable names, very, very clear, multiple English words or indeed any other language words, then the likelihood of you clashing with anything that we've got is very, very low, and so spacebar is better for you anyway. Right. Okay. Regardless of which one you pick, you should understand that it's not set in stone. You can come back to this wizard later on and change your settings, uh, or indeed you can go into the settings and you can find the specific location. We will help you with that. There'll be other videos on that. To any other key combination you would like, we're simply suggesting these two as sensible defaults. If you want to learn more about Code Rush and all its features, check out the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching.